we have learnt about the first order differential equation with variable coefficient variable term in its homogeneous case but this is the non homogeneous case which is the other possibility of the cases so this is the first order differential equation with variable coefficient and variable term this is the very definition that we have already understood a few times before and uh, als also in the homogeneous case ut and wt they are in terms of t this was the homogeneous case where wt was zero but this is the case where wt is not equal to zero making it a non-homogeneous case so this non-homogeneous case can be uh, solved for which we need a certain formula we have written this possibility in which now it is not equal to zero and to develop the formula just like we did in the homogeneous case we can try however at this stage when we are learning the first order linear differential equations this formula is developed by using the exact differential equation method which is not uh, yet introduced in our series of videos and this method deals with the uh, non-linear differential equations so uh, it's not right now the scope of our discussion even if it can solve the linear differential equations we are not uh, well aware of this method so we are going to uh, jump over this let's just note that it can deal with um, you know any of the situations however we are jumping over it and we are given this formula that we can use uh, we have a glimpse of the previous formula of the homogeneous case however w is something that is there uh, it should be inside the integral so we should write the integral outside the w and now it is correct so since we have not proved this formula or developed this formula we can now do the numerical straight away to make good sense of its solution so here you are an example from the book of alpha c chiang page 48 485 and this is the equation we can write it in order to compare it with the standard form so when we compare it with the standard form it is 2t and it is wt the value of wt is t and the value of ut is 2t that we have extracted and now we are going to put these values here this is the formula that we just uh, introduced and now we are going to substitute the values in it since the integral exists in the exponent it might get a little cluttered so in order to avoid this clutter we are going to put the values that is uh, the value of ut and simplification can be easily done so it's a DIY for you this integration and simplification procedure so now we are going to put back this value that is the integral of ut into the formula in these two places so this is the value that is t square plus c1 which we have substituted here and here now it's time for us to uh, you know solve this in, in a way uh, which is uh, going to simplify this whole thing so uh, introducing this negative sign inside will change the signs here and here and then we can write these two terms separately instead of with one exponent so this is the thing outside inside there is no change in the sign so we can break this term into two terms and then write it uh, the way it is so after making this correction that this uh, integral sign will be outside wt we continue and the value of wt is t value of ut in after integration is this so what we do is that we try to break it as we have already done this is the part where we break the terms those two terms that can be written separately because they have the same base so we write them separately here and here writing them separately will allow us to uh, make the integration possible uh, this is t and this will be the exponent t square this term is brought outside because uh, it's a constant term so it should be treated as a coefficient now we remember the integration of the exponential function 
uh, in which we write the function as it is and the derivative in the denominator so here if we are integrating the function this function that is integration of exponent of t square the answer of it will be exponent t square divided by 2t so if this is something we put here that is this value this t will be cancelled with this t which, is, which was there in the process of integration so either by doing it in this way so now we can simplify the things this is the outside term that should be multiplied inside so in the next step we have multiplied this term inside with both of these terms and now a little bit of simplification should be done here we have highlighted these two terms that is this term and this term because now they are cancelable we have cancelled them out and we have got 1 and 1 moreover this term will also be reduced to 1 and this 1 over 2 will remain the same this term will also as well as this term so these terms will remain the same as they are the first term also remains the same it is the process of simplification all of it we can get some hints from it this term is again the same all of it reduces to 1 over 2 and this term also remains as it is now we are rearranging writing the value that is 1 over 2 at the end and continuing this uh, combination in which two constants are being treated each with each other and now uh, I can take something common because among these two uh, between these two we have this term as co constant or common uh, so taking this as common remaining terms will be these at the same time we must remind ourselves that this is assumed to be equal to c3 that is exponent minus c1 into c2 is equal to c3 so these two when interact they when they interact with each other we, they give you another constant now if we observe this term all of these terms that constitute this overall term are constants so we can write one term instead of writing three terms now this is a single notation representing yet another constant and now finally we can write this expression without any unnecessary parenthesis so this is the uh, general solution of the given differential equation that we were given which was um, a first order differential equation with variable coefficient and variable term this was the thing that was given to us and we found the solution of it by using the formula which was devised by using the exact differential equation method which is beyond the scope of our current discussion however we did get this formula that we use and this is how we can uh, we can find the solution of the first order differential equation with variable coefficient and variable term in its non-homogeneous case. Thank you.